This is at one of our studio apartments in Canary Wharf. Um, it's 362 square feet, open plan living as you can see. Um, so we've got the living area here. This is a glass partition just dividing the living area from the bedroom area. Creates a bit of division while still letting the light through. Um, just over here we've got a small dining area for two. Um, fully equipped kitchen here on the left, so all the white goods are included. Even got a little slimline dishwasher in here tucked away. Uh, bedroom area here, double bed, plenty of room for double bed, two bedside tables. Plenty of storage here along the wall. And just over here in the corner we've got the bathroom. So come and have a quick look at that. We've got the mirrored vanity unit, towel rail tucked around the corner there, and then a large shower. This is one of our studios in Lewisham, um, 362 square feet. As you can see, we've got the living area here, dining table, and kitchen over the back there. So all open plan again, um, but we do have this separation here from the living area to the bedroom area. So this is our um, TV media unit. It swivels round so it allows you to watch TV in the living area or in the bedroom area which is a really popular feature and it also includes built-in storage here as well which is very handy. And then if you want to come round through to the bedroom built-in storage all the way along this wall here so it's good use of space there and then round through to the bedroom area. Again, storage over the back there, and then through to the bathroom here. What do you really need in an apartment? Um, you need a bedroom, a lounge, and with some of the Galliard apartments, which I've got, the bedroom turns into a dining room and, and it's dual function. And I personally eat out a lot. I really only need a kitchen. And so it's perfect. Being kind of young and single, I don't need vast amounts of space. I don't need, you know, a giant living room and games room and all sorts of God knows what. Um, I need a living, room, a living room to watch telly and stuff in. I need a bedroom and a bathroom and a kitchen. And this place has exactly that. As soon as I walked into this flat, the first thing that I saw was this big uh, bright window uh, and right away I saw myself uh, living in it. I then walked around the unit and I saw that it was very well laid out. Uh, although it is a studio, uh, it does have a pull-down bed. It has a separate sleeping area as well as a separate living area. So although it's marketed as a studio, it feels like a, a small one bedroom. I think the great thing about a studio as an investment is that they're very easy to rent, they're not that expensive to buy, and the returns as an, as an investor are very positive. Uh, we bought about a year and a half ago, it was our first attempt at uh, buy to let, and it's been rented very quickly, and we've not had any, any void periods at all, so we're very happy. I think if it had been a traditional studio, um, with just a bedroom all in as a, as a sitting room too, I perhaps wouldn't have gone for it. It's a small property compared to, you know, some others that I looked at, but it's also, it uses the space well enough that it doesn't need to be any bigger than it is.